space has always been the realm of dreams and adventure. But in recent years, it's become something else too, somewhat less romantic and decidedly more crowded. In this video, we are going to talk about space junk and how it could trap us on Earth. In 1957, the world held its breath as the Soviet Union launched the first artificial satellite, Sputnik, into orbit. The space race had begun, marking the dawn of a new era in human history. What was once the great unknown had become a vast frontier, ripe for exploration. Fast forward to today, and our presence in space is undeniable. However, this progress comes at a price, one that's literally orbiting above us, space junk. What is space junk? Space junk, as its name suggests, is a far cry from the majestic stars and galaxies that captured our imaginations. It's the remnants of our cosmic ambitions, a growing cloud of debris left behind in Earth's orbit. This debris comprises everything from defunct satellites to discarded rocket stages, all hurtling silently through space. It's a graveyard of our past endeavors, forgotten in the vacuum of the cosmos. This isn't just a minor issue, it's a ticking time bomb. While the heavens might seem infinite, Space around our planet is finite, and it's getting crowded. The proliferation of space junk presents us with a complex and critical challenge, one that goes beyond our fascination with the cosmos. It threatens our very presence in space, and by extension, it can have repercussions here on Earth. In the following sections of this documentary, we will delve deeper into the space junk phenomenon and explore the potential dangers it poses. Growing Threat the consequences of space junk are real and imminent. When these fragments collide with operational satellites or even the International Space Station, they pose a significant risk. The impact of a collision can disrupt communication networks, impair weather forecasts, and jeopardize the safety of astronauts. Our reliance on these services is undeniable, making space debris a growing threat to our daily lives. Experts around the world are raising red flags about the worsening situation. They warn of a future where space junk could become so prevalent that it renders space travel and exploration too hazardous. This crisis goes beyond mere inconvenience. It challenges the very foundation of our space endeavors. The space junk issue is a ticking time bomb that demands our attention. In the sections that follow, we'll delve deeper into how space debris could affect our planet and discuss potential solutions and mitigations. Stay with us on this eye-opening journey to discover why space junk may hold the power to trap us right here on Earth. Impact on Earth But why should we care about the growing mess above us? The consequences are far-reaching, and they don't just affect our efforts in space. Space junk can endanger the very missions and technologies that fuel our daily lives. Imagine a satellite, a silent sentinel high above the Earth, providing us with data for weather forecasts, global communications, and navigation. Now, imagine that satellite colliding with a fragment of space junk, obliterating it into a cascade of debris. Suddenly, that lifeline is severed, leaving us with data gaps, disrupted communications, and lost connections. The International Space Station, a symbol of international cooperation in space, is not immune either. Space debris hurtling at unimaginable speeds can pose a serious threat. Astronauts aboard the ISS often have to perform maneuvers to dodge oncoming debris, their lives hanging in the balance. These close encounters serve as a stark reminder of how precarious our position in space has become. In essence, the mess we've created in space isn't contained up there. It's a problem that has a way of coming back to Earth, affecting our technological infrastructure and potentially our everyday lives. In the upcoming sections of this documentary, we'll delve deeper into the dangers and impacts of space junk and explore the initiatives being taken to mitigate this growing problem. Kessler Syndrome But what if space debris spirals into an even more catastrophic scenario? Enter the Kessler Syndrome, a theoretical nightmare proposed by NASA scientist Donald J. Kessler in 1978. This phenomenon suggests that a single collision in space could trigger a chain reaction, leading to an exponentially increasing amount of debris. The result? A cluttered space environment where collisions become not just possible, but highly likely. Picture a sky filled with countless fragments, each capable of destroying functional satellites. In the Kessler Syndrome, space travel would be akin to navigating a minefield, and it could become too risky to venture beyond our planet. The implications of this go beyond science fiction. They could stifle space exploration, scientific research, and even our dreams of colonizing other celestial bodies. The Kessler Syndrome is like a doomsday clock ticking away, 
and its potential impact on humanity's future is too great to ignore. We're at a critical juncture, and it's time to consider how we can mitigate this looming threat. In the sections ahead, we'll explore the efforts and solutions aimed at tackling space debris and preventing the Kessler Syndrome from becoming a grim reality. We'll also discuss the importance of international cooperation in addressing this global challenge. Solutions and Mitigation As the presence of space junk continues to grow, so does the urgency of finding solutions to this cosmic challenge. Scientists, engineers, and space agencies around the world are hard at work to address this issue. In this section, we'll explore some of the approaches being taken to mitigate the space debris problem. One of the primary solutions is tracking and monitoring. Ground-based radar and telescopes are employed to keep an eye on space junk, helping predict potential collisions and allowing operational satellites to make evasive maneuvers. These early warning systems play a crucial role in preventing disastrous impacts. Another promising avenue is debris removal. Various missions are being developed to actively capture and remove defunct satellites and large fragments from orbit. It's a daunting task, but a necessary one to reduce the density of space debris and mitigate the risk of collisions. Moreover, there's a call for responsible space practices. Guidelines and regulations are being proposed to ensure that satellite operators and space agencies take measures to limit the generation of new space junk. This approach focuses on prevention to stop the problem at its source. It's worth emphasizing that addressing the space junk crisis is a global effort. International cooperation is vital in achieving these goals. With the increasing number of countries launching satellites and participating in space activities, coordinated action is essential to manage the growing issue of space debris effectively. The urgency of these solutions cannot be overstated. We must act now to preserve our access to space and ensure that the Kessler Syndrome remains nothing more than a chilling theoretical concept. As we wrap up our exploration of the space junk crisis, one thing is abundantly clear. This is not a problem we can afford to ignore. What began as the excitement of space exploration has left a trail of debris that poses a genuine threat to our future in space. This isn't just a matter for scientists and engineers. It's a concern for all of humanity. Space junk represents more than just clutter. It's a test of our ability to responsibly coexist with the cosmos we yearn to explore. The consequences of inaction are severe and can range from the disruption of critical satellite services to the hampering of our aspirations beyond Earth's orbit. However, there is hope on the horizon. International efforts are underway to tackle the issue head on, from advanced debris removal techniques to better tracking and avoidance strategies. It's a testament to the human spirit of ingenuity and cooperation and it shows that we're not ready to surrender our dreams of the stars to a cloud of space debris.